Well, the key problem in Thailand is they don't have a culture of strong and stable institutions that can manage political conflict. And this is very significantly due to the, the preeminent role of the monarch in, in Thai political life. The king has regularly been held up as a virtuous example in order to undermine the credibility of elected politicians. And over many years, the king has consistently allowed anti-democratic acts, such as military coups, to be performed in his name. And reports are that the king has endorsed the latest coup. So this, this reliance, this investment, this over-respect for the monarchy really undermines the viability of electoral and parliamentary institutions. The other main problem in Thailand is that the, the main opposition party, the Democrat Party, um, Thailand's oldest political party, has lost faith in the democratic process. It's time for them to change their name. Um, they have been comprehensively outplayed by the pro-Tuxin forces since 2001. They've lost a, a series of elections and they've now embarked on a strategy of electoral sabotage and this is most evident in their, in their boycotting of elections. In 2006, they boycotted an election because they knew they couldn't beat Tuxin, and earlier this year, they boycotted an election because they knew they couldn't beat Tuxin's sister, Yingluck Shinawat. And, and what happened shortly after both of those electoral boycotts? There was a military coup. So the Democrat role in recent Thai politics has been to undermine the electoral system and pave the way for the military to stage interventions. Well, democracy in Thailand is in now in, in a parlous state. And when I first started working on Thailand in the early 1990s, there was a feeling that the military had staged their last coup and were now well and truly back in the barracks. Um, of course, we've seen them intervene now twice in recent years, in 2006 and just last week. And the fundamental reason for this is that there's a lack of broad faith and respect for parliamentary and electoral institutions. And we're not going to break this cycle until we develop that much greater public confidence in and respect for those key institutions for resolving political conflict. And I think that's going to be very difficult for Thailand to achieve while the monarch plays such a preeminent role in the political system because the monarch can always be referred to as an alternative to the parliamentary system and the symbolism of the monarch can be drawn upon to justify the actions of those who want to stage military coups. So this coup is somewhat different to the coup that was staged in 2006. Uh, after that coup, there were pretty early signals that there would be a return to democracy and, and elections held following the coup. So far with this coup, there's been no talk of elections. Uh, and that's for a very good reason, because the army knows that if an election was held in six months or a year or even two years, pro-Tuxin forces would win it again. Um, Tuxin is a dominant electoral force in, in Thai politics, and the military now has to confront that reality. And my feeling is that they will spend a long time trying to put in place a system where a political party led by Tuxin or any of his political allies cannot dominate the electoral process as it has in the past. And designing such a system will be difficult, it will be contentious and it will take a lot of time. And I think ultimately the military will fail in that endeavour because even though they may through various repressive or extra legal means be able to exclude Tuxin's allies from the political process, they can't turn back the social and economic changes that have taken place in Thailand over the last few decades. And it's really those social and economic changes with a much more economically and politically engaged rural population that's formed the basis um, for the rise of the, the Tuxin forces. The military can't change that. They're going to have to come to grips with that sooner or later. But I fear that we're in for a prolonged period of non-democratic rule.